Okay, guys, check out this guy's channel. I'll put the link to it in the description. He does very good work on dealing with law enforcement. And also, after 3 p.m., check out the channel. Either type in News Now Omaha or check out the community tab at 3 p.m. Central Time. I do my best to upload every single day. So, the fact of the matter is, this guy was exercising his rights, right? Doing a first amendment audit at a police department, which is completely legal and covered under the, under the first amendment. These cops don't like it when you exercise your rights. So it's important that you film law enforcement in the United States. Always film the police because it is your right to do so. All original links are in the description. Bye bye now. Hello. Hey, do you know if that area is publicly accessible? No, why? What do you need? Oh, nothing. I'm fine. I appreciate it. Well, all these are probably police cars or something close to. So, uh, I think she just calls for backup. So, I'm going to sit here and wait for him as a... I don't need anything. For what reason? But I, but I can though. So this isn't I am this isn't the police department. I don't need anything. Okay. So how can I help you? Oh, I'm recording. For what? Uh, I'm an independent journalist. Appreciate it. Okay. From where? Uh, I'm independent. You have your ID with you? I don't need it. For what? For what re reason? Well, I don't want you sitting here recording at the police department for obvious security. Well, you reasons, just you right? just told me it was private. You just told me. I, uh, what's your badge number? I do need your badge number. You just engaged with me. So if anything else, call your superior. I would. Because you're supposed to give me your name and badge number when I ask for it. Okay. We will see. We will definitely see. Hello. How are you doing, guy? Alright, how about yourself? I'm good. What do you want? That's good. Can I have your name and badge number, please? No, I'm not right this minute. You can't. What are you oh, here for? Oh, and why can't I? Because I'm asking you, why are you here? I, I don't, I, it's in public. I don't need a reason to be in public. Really? Okay. I don't. Alright. Is this not, is somebody's this, coming up here? Yeah. Is this so not public? For, I just want to real quick explain to you, when I'm on the phone right now, I'm talking to somebody from the courts, right? I'm okay. on the phone with the judge. That's fine. And you walk up to my car. And I said, pardon me. Okay. So right. then you asked if you could go back there. I said, was it publicly accessible? Correct. It is not. Public. Okay. And that's fine. But this is. So what's the problem? No. I have the freedom of press. I'm sorry. You're going to get some education today. I am an independent journalist and I don't have to tell you my name unless you have reasonable suspicions that I've committed a crime. So I don't have to tell you my name, right? Okay, so, so why are you engaging me asking can me? Go both ways, well, I don't right? want to have courtesy. So I don't want to, I don't need a lecture. Both ways, yes or no, right? Hey. So now I had to get off the phone with the judge. You didn't have to. Well, yes, I did because, okay. because you're coming over here. Right, right? and I'm coming. Trust me when I say this, these officers do not respect your rights to film in public. Remember, filming the police is your right. And instead of her just doing her job and answering the guy's questions and going about her day, she decides I'm going to question this guy on the legality of filming to find a way to place him in custody because she's feeling some type of way right now. It's unfortunate that these officers deal these deal this way. But what can you, what do you expect? These cops don't respect our rights. And that's what this whole point of this video is all about, right? Get back to the video. So when I'm doing on what? The phone with the judge right now. What am I doing exactly? You're, you're not understanding what I'm saying. So I'm on the phone hey, how with you the doing? judge, you come over to my car. And I said, pardon me. I said, pardon no, me. You cannot, no. So I, the lady's in the car, I'm recording. I came up, I said, hey, excuse me. Is, is this area publicly accessible? The fenced area, which is, which is open. And she says, no. I said, okay, sorry about that. She said, what do you need? I said, I don't need anything. I continue to walk off and continue to record. There's nothing wrong with what I'm doing. Everything I'm doing right now is constitutionally, constitutionally protected. It's the first amendment. I have the freedom of speech and press. So I don't see what the problem is. If this is a public area, which it is, since it's the police department, what's the problem? She claims she doesn't have to state her name and badge number after she engaged with me. It's not like I came up and had a problem or anything like that. So now you're saying you don't, so you're saying that you don't have to. Uh, well, you walked over to my car saying you didn't 
It said part of me. Hey, hey, so are you from Indianapolis? I am actually. Okay, so you, you remember the news reports not too long ago? We had so the fact of the matter is, they're making up an excuse on why they're doing what they're doing to this man. Now, it's unfortunate that things happen in this career, but this is the career that you chose. You chose to be a police officer. You chose to do this job. You weren't forced, okay? You chose this job. You wake up every morning and put on a uniform. You woke up one morning and decided to apply for this position. Get back to the video and enjoy. Come by and fire shots into this. That has ball. nothing to do with me. I understand that. Okay. Do you understand why we would be a little concerned about it, someone running around in our parking lot? Okay, and once I told her that I was an independent journalist and not have the freedom of press, and, and I, I, well, what? independently journalist, journalize whatever you like. Thank you. So, can I have your name and badge number? She told me I couldn't record here, that this property was private. So, all of that there is a lie. This is publicly funded. I want her name well, and badge number. Section 7. I want her name. Bit. But, okay, this is publicly accessible. I never went into any private area. You seem All right. very confrontational. I'm not, Can I'm, I ask you what? Confrontational? Why, I've been why? approached. I, I walked away from her after asking if that area was publicly accessible. Right. She said no. I, I continued to walk off and then she takes me down. I politely, politely waited right there for her. Yeah, hey, excuse me. Hey, I so stopped. So your, your journalism, what, what, what's the, uh, there, I don't, what, I don't, what story? I don't have to answer any questions. Not, not regarding that. I'm not being detained. Right. I'm Lieutenant Karate. Have a good I don't day. want to be touched. Appreciate it. Thank you. There's four people you, around you, me with you, guns. You, I feel you, very you, threatened. You weren't. You weren't. You you're just free, touched you're, me. You're free to leave. If I'm free to leave, I'm free to and, stay. And, Appreciate and, it. And, uh, All right, I thank you. you thank you. No, sir. You weren't, but I want her name and badge number, though. That's for sure. That's, that's I want Fra yours as well. That's Officer Fraser. Anybody, and, everybody and, that here that just engaged in this confrontation, I need all their names and badge numbers, especially no, uh, the tyrant. Only, yeah. She's Officer a tyrant. Fraser, Lizanne Crowdy. Okay, have, have what's your badge number? Have a good day. I don't want to What's your badge number? I'm Adam 201. 201? Yeah, have a good day. It says 158 right there. I'm sorry. Pardon me. What's your name and badge number? I'm officer connect and what's your badge number you know there, there's a point of this it's kind of like you know bordering on harassment how is it harassment you're public service i can record you, you all i want exactly. uh, right you have no business so arrest right me i do this is public i don't need any business to be in Bye. public we're all teenagers. right okay right thank you so therefore you were wrong have a good day tyrant you're all fucking tyrants Excuse my white voice. So the fact of the matter is, these guys don't respect his rights. Check out his channel. I'll put the link to it in the description. He does very good work on dealing with law enforcement. Remember, filming the police is your right. And it's always recommended that anytime you're confronted by law enforcement, you have every ability to film the police. Remember. The police are not your friends. You have to understand that. I want you to understand that. These cops are not your friends. These guys don't care about you. They don't respect you. And at the end of the day, and I tell you this all of the time, it's important that you know your rights. It's important that you film the police. It's important that any time you deal with these officers, that you film them. These guys could ruin you. You don't understand what it's like to be in jail. You think it's a walk in the park? You think that is easy? You think it's all fun and games? It's not. And this is why it's important to protect your rights. These guys do not care. They chose to do this job. You got to film. I mean, you do whatever you want. If you choose not to film the cops and something happens to you, hey, you can't complain about it, bro. I'm going to be real with you. You can't complain about it. Like, I'm seeing so many videos of guys not filming these officers, even though they're getting mad at me, get mad at me because I repeat myself. The fact of the matter is I'm trying to tell you that it's your right to film the police. Bye-bye now.